I have one John, first John three nine. It says, "Whoever has been born of God does not sin, for his seed remains yeah. in him, and he cannot sin continually." Say it again. Cannot sin what? Continually. There you. There's your answer right there. That's your answer. If you're asking me, someone born of God says cannot sin. So then, why do we sin? Is that your question? What's your question about this passage? Uh, yes. Okay. You you just answered it by reading that translation. It's not saying you never sin. It means that someone born of God, his life is not going to be characterized by sin. Meaning those who are in the world who don't know God, their life is to wake up in sin, to then sleep in sin, to get drunk, to lie, cheat, and steal, to have sex before marriage. Their life is controlled by sin. What this is saying is the believer who's born of the spirit resists sin, fights sin, and tries to overcome sin, and tries to live holy. That's how your life will be lived. Not that you'll never sin. Right. Because the same John tells you in 1 John 1, 8, in 1 John 1, 8, the same John tells you, if you say you're without sin, we deceive ourselves. Yes. So John contradicted himself. No, what he's talking about is those born of God, now they'll have the desire not to want to sin daily, day in and day out. Whereas if you look at the unbelievers, what do they live for? Sin, partying, being drunk, having sex, fornicating, adultery, idolatry, money. That's all they live for. Sports. Sin under their hand. Sorry, one second who loves the Lord, now makes an effort to live pure and holy. No sex before marriage. Try not to watch porn. No lying. That's how you're going to try to live your life, by trying to live in holiness and avoid sin, but you're not going to do it perfectly. That's why we can tell a right. difference between a Christian and someone who's of the world, right? Yes. That's what John is saying. That's why the same John tells you in 1 John 1, 7 to 10, if you say you're without sin, we deceive ourselves. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful to forgive us. Right. So it's lifestyle. Those who are born of God, their lifestyle will not be a lifestyle of just sinning without change. Right. Your lifestyle will be trying to live for the Lord. Prayer, fasting, Eucharist, joining the church. Feeding people, clothing people, visiting people, standing up for the rights of those who are being abused. Right. That's how your lifestyle will be lived. It's a lifestyle, but it doesn't mean you're going to do it perfectly.